Hi guys, Hi. welcome back to Ground Zero. Are you a big fan of sushi? Well, if you are, this clip will appeal to you and maybe even tickle your funny bone. That's right, a hilarious infographic that shows a big difference in wasting time at sushi bars in Singapore and in Japan has been making rounds on the internet. According to the graphic, Singaporean sushi bars serve their crowds faster because we consume them a lot quicker than the Japanese. For example, it states that Singaporeans love to create a wasabi mix by stirring the Japanese spice in soy sauce like no tomorrow in quotations before dipping the sushi entirely in the mix and gobbling it down in, I quote, 365 ways. <laughs> in contrast, the Japanese will lift up the fish on the sushi, add a bit of wasabi between the fish and rice, and then dip only the fish in soy sauce before eating the fish facing downwards. Now, I'm not sure about you guys, and you included, Bell, but I am guilty as charged with regard to how I eat my sushi when served. Mm-hmm. I didn't know that there is like, you know, a certain method to consuming the delicacy. It's very interesting. Yeah. Unfortunately, several stompers are not on the same page as you. With 60% of stompers saying they are both chucked about this. Oh no. One of them is Stomper XOXO, who wrote, no matter what type of eating method you choose, three things are bound to happen. The sushi remains the same, it still enters through your mouth and down to your stomach. You still have to pay the same price, similar to that of a Japanese customer. So don't be fussy, be yourself as a Singaporean and eat it in your own style. Stomper, take my words, even gave an example of how he eats his sushi when he wrote, I separate the salmon from the rice, then eat the salmon first without any soy sauce or wasabi just to taste the tenderness, freshness and sweetness in my mouth. Finally, I eat the rice with the soy sauce just to have something to munch on. I think you should be happy when you're enjoying that platter of sushi and to achieve that, you have to be comfortable with how you eat it. Well, well said. There is no proper standards to eating the sushi. So really, remember to enjoy the food and your dining company as well because that's really all that matters. Well, that's all the time we have for this week. I sure am hungry for the sushi talk. So until next time we meet, my name is Val and this year's Terrence. Have a good week ahead, folks. See you.